Hi Kaylee, thanks for sending your question. To take the derivative of the function that you sent us, which is an absolute value function, um, we're going to use a little trick. And the trick is to know that the absolute value of x is actually equal to the square root of x squared, which means that the absolute value of x squared minus 4 is equal to the square root of x squared minus 4 squared, just like up here. So this is actually what we're going to be taking the derivative of. So let's go ahead and input that into our argument here. And we're going to be using a chain rule to do this, which means it actually probably be more convenient to write the square root in exponential form. So we're going to write this all as uh, x squared minus 4 squared, and that's going to be to the 1 half. And now we're ready to take our derivative. So we actually have uh, three functions going on here, kind of complicated. Um, we have our most outside function, which is our root function. And then we have a squared function in the middle. And then we have this function going on in the very center. So we're going to have three iterations of our chain rule that we need to go to. So uh, taking the derivative of the outside function, we're going to get 1 half x squared minus 4 squared to the negative 1 half and going to the middle function um, we will get 2 times x squared minus 4 and that would just be to the 1 and then taking the derivative of the interior function we just end up with 2x. So let's make sense out of all of this. Um, this 1 half and the 2 are going to cancel each other out. And I'm going to change this back into root form. Um, so we will have a denominator of square root of x squared minus 4 squared. And on the top, we have 2x times x squared minus 4. And if you want to put that back in terms of an absolute value, um, on the top we have the same numerator. And on the bottom we can go the opposite direction that we did before and put this back into this form. And that's your final answer for this problem. Thanks again for your question, Kaylee, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.